Hey everyone. It's such an interesting thing when we're looking out at the world around us and we're disturbed by what we see, sometimes highly disturbed by what we see and the question arises, what can I do about it? What can I do to make a positive change in the world? And when we get into this space, the answers are often surprising, right? Because what we've been doing isn't necessarily what works. Otherwise, we wouldn't see things around us that are disturbing, right? And so, feeling to that question the last couple of days, and it's been really interesting, the answer the answer sort of brings me back to what I was originally offering to the world, but in, even in a more deeper way, in a more direct way. The answer is quiet, making space for quiet, making space to be quiet. And we can call this meditation, we can call this prayer, what if you just call it being quiet? But in the space of quietude, there's a there's a receptivity, there's this openness. There's this openness to receive. It's like you're like a like an like an open bowl, you know, to receive. And then something new can enter. New idea, new concept, new insights, new um, emotional capacity, emotional depth, new creative perceptions, new dimensions of reality. It all comes from the space of quietude, from space of quiet. And making this space for quiet, it really needs to be a conscious, intentional thing for most of us in the world that we live in right now. Because if we don't make that conscious, intentional space for silence, then it doesn't happen because there's noise all around us. There's talking, there's thinking. And the perception so often is, I wanna make a positive change in the world. I need to do something, I need to say something, I need to go somewhere, I need to, I need to be somewhere. Um, I need to get seen, I need to get heard. And that way alone is not gonna get us there because you're just on the same treadmill, you know? And this is why I'm even looking really closely at things like Facebook, things like Instagram, and this competition to be seen, and this competition to be heard, and this competition for airtime and space and notoriety. And it's just, there's a point where it just becomes a lot of noise, a lot of, it's like going into a house that's full of clutter, you know? There's, it's, it's, it's not a place that's, available for relaxation and creativity and inspiration. The creativity, the inspiration, the relaxation comes from a space that's clean, clear, open, and spacious. So when the mind is clean, clear, open, and spacious, when the heart is clean, clear, open, and spacious, when the body is clean, clear, open, and spacious, the magic, the miracles come through the magic and the miracles come through. So the way to create positive transformation in the world is to have these three components, mind, heart, body, clean, clear, open and spacious, and to make time for that, to make time to quiet the mind, to make time to quiet and open the heart, to make time to quiet and open the body, to be a clear, open, channel for this universal creative intelligence, for the spirit, for the source to move through us moment by moment, to allow the magic to move through us, to allow the miracles to move through us moment by moment. That's why we're here. So we don't need to know everything that's going to happen step by step in the future just need to know that just need to know that and as as we be that 
be that clear channel, that resonant field attracts like resonance. It attracts our brothers and sisters to co-create with us and in community and be a beacon of light for what's possible on this planet.